have no idea where I left off on the last part of the video. Um, so things drastically got uh, worse. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff missing now. I'll show you what happened. So this oil leak that I thought was the seal was not the seal. It ended up being this right here, this uh, push rod uh, seal. And in order to get the push rod seal, you have to pretty much take this whole thing apart. Um, so it's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Uh, so I already started trying to do the first part. I uh, had to get the exhaust off. Now I'll uh, show you that this happened. I got this tool to get the nut off and I guess I put a little bit too much force and it snapped it off. Uh, so I had to drill the nut to get it off. And then when I was trying to get it off there, I messed up the threads. Uh, not horribly, but enough that it was a pain in the butt. Now, a thread uh, die tool cost $160 uh, to do this. So I got just a thread file and I've been filing the threads down so they'll work. Uh, I have new nuts coming. They're not, they're not here yet, so I can't test to see how well this has worked. It seems to be cutting pretty well, and it's made the threads look a lot better than they actually are. But for today, what my plan is, is to take this whole jug off, uh, carb everything, and then replace the seal down here. But while I have everything apart, I'm just gonna replace all the seals that I have. Then I'll have to uh, re, then I'll have to adjust the valves to the correct spec and do there. And then I might as well do the other side, uh, do the uh, adjust the valves, because you know that's something I should do. Hopefully, I don't run into any major issues. But you know, with 40-year-old vehicles, you always run into something. It's a pain in the butt. But the exhaust, the exhaust got stuck in here, and I used lots of heat to try to get it off, and I could not get it to budge. I finally had to pretty much uh, bend the pipe inside itself just to get, be able to get it out. So this header has been completely destroyed. I ordered a set of used uh, headers to put on. Um, I'm just going to uh, heat wrap it like I did before. I don't really mind. Uh, I don't need chromy uh, exhaust, so don't mind that. But at the same time, the cross tube that I had actually rusted out, so I have to replace the cross tube there. If I just left alone, would have been a little oil leak and then decide to fix it right and it ended up costing me a lot of money to do it. So I'm going to fix that and uh, get on it. I got the valve cover off. Um, so the valves don't actually seem like they're loose, so that's always a good thing. And you can see all the buildup of the dirt that gets in between here. I'm just gonna clean all that out. I got all new gaskets, so I don't mind tearing this one, pulling this one apart. So what I'm gonna do is take apart these. I uh, set this up here so I can keep the push rods and the valve, um, <coughs> whatever they're called, uh, rocker arms, in the right location because when you put them back, you want to keep them exactly the same. Um, this is my first time ever taking one of these apart, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully it's self-explanatory.
got the head off. Um, this is, I could see that there's a little bit of fuel in here, but you can tell that it's probably been running rich for a while. That's really black, but like overall, everything seems to be in really good condition. Um, there's no cracking or any major pitting or anything. It seems like there was any issue with that. So next part is to pull this off, but uh, since it's the first time I ever did it, I saw a couple videos online that people have used cardboard to hold the piston up. Um, Cause I gotta pull the piston out and actually take it off the um, connecting rod. So uh, it's been a while since I've done one of those. So let's see how this turns out. So this is where my inexperience comes in. Uh, so I gotta put these new seals on. And as you can see, it sits on, and it's super, super loose. But the other ones are super tight. So I got this out and measured it. And it's pretty much 16, oh, I just messed it up, but roughly 16 millimeters. What I didn't know is going up here and where I purchased it from, there's an 18 millimeter and a uh, 16 millimeter version. Uh, both, I guess, 70 to 76 are 75 slash five, both of them. I did not know there was two different ones. So, looks like I'm done for the day because this is the only reason why I took this apart and I have the wrong ones. Now luckily they're only like two bucks each, but it's just the days that I have to wait for it to come be shipped. And I don't have a BMW motorcycle shop anywhere close by, so this is a bummer. I got everything apart and got the wrong seals. So I guess I'm holding off until I can order new parts.
and I've been waiting for all the parts to come in. So I got a bunch of stuff that came in, plus stuff that's still coming in, uh, but I put together the whole engine now and actually fired it up just to make sure it works. So pardon my mess, but uh, this thing's all back together. Um, I mean, I even started it and it fired right up super fast. So what I gotta do next, uh, I also cleaned up the threads. You can see it looks a lot better with the threads uh, cleaned up. This tool saved me 160 bucks. So I feel like everyone should have one of these because they got so many different sizes and it's so cheap. Nice thing. All right, so did that. Um, I got new exhaust pipes, actually not new, eBay special exhaust pipes. Uh, they're not, I mean, they're dented and really gross looking, but I'm gonna wrap these anyways. Um, these are probably about the same condition as the old ones but I wasn't gonna spend $400 on new exhaust system um, just to be covered up or I don't know, I'll wait until something bad happens that I need to purchase that. So I got that. What I have to do is take the old muffler piece off because uh, it looks like the, their mufflers died. Luckily, this is all good for me, so just pull that out. Um, then I actually also purchased a new mid pipe. Now this thing I had to buy new because I couldn't find a used one and that's my, what might happen to mine is it just rusted out. So I got this nice chromey looking one and I'm, I don't even think I'm, oh it doesn't come in with any screws does it? Oh, wait no it does, it's just in there. Um, all I'm going to do, I, I'm not even going to wrap these, I kind of will leave the, the chromey look to it. Uh, so do that. Um, so until my uh, exhaust nuts come in, I am going to prepare these and I guess kind of wait, um, maybe clean up my mess because I made a huge mess out of all this.
I'm glad things work better putting them on than it was taking them off. Uh, I got the headers on. Headers with the new nuts, uh, the new cross uh, tube there. Um, the, this thing killed it. Like, these, if you saw the threads before, they were so mangled. And now they thread on pretty easily and I was able to tighten it. Um, so that's awesome. I, this is definitely, this was like 20 bucks for three different ones. There's multiple sizes on it. So this thing is awesome. So that is good. Got the header all the way on. Uh, then now I'm gonna put the pipes on. Uh, so I have this Harley pipe that I was riding before. Um, gonna do that, I might clean these up a little bit before. And then after that's all on, I'm gonna fire it up to make sure everything sounds good. And there's no like huge leaks anywhere. And then I'm going to wrap this ugly pipe. Okay, so the bike is up and running. Uh, it's running all right. It still needs to probably be tuned. Uh, exhaust is on. Everything seems to be good with that. Uh, I see that there's no oil leaks now, so I think that's what. I think that was definitely the issue was that uh, seal. And I started it and ran it, and there's no leakage that I can see. So I definitely think it was this thing up here that was the problem. Um, yeah, so I do need to work on the brakes. Brakes are sketchy. Yeah, other than that, this thing is just really dirty from tire mounting and just stuff. So I think I'll have to clean it, but it's, it's actually looking really good. Um, I'm glad today went well. i really glad that these are on. Uh, good stuff. <laughs>